the slide to question number 22. So the two AI anchors newly launched by Doordarshan DD Kisan capable of speaking in 50 languages. Question number 22. The answer is third. Nothing much to explain here, but when it comes to AI, in the year 2024, one of the AI made by Google was in controversy. What is the name of that AI? So a current affair question. Let's see. So the name of that AI was Gemini. So why it was in controversy, I'm not going to comment on that. That you'll find yourself. But Gemini was in controversy, right? So that was the AI of Google. Not the open AI. Open AI, yes, it was in news, but Gemini was in controversy in India. Yes. Okay. I'm moving. Question number 23. Again, the question is on film festival. So at the 77th film festival, an Indian film name all we imagine as light won the Grand Prix, the second position in the category, the film is directed by whom? Question number 23rd. The answer is third Payal Kapadia. All right, moving the slide to question number 24. So again, the same question on Cannes Film Festival. Who among the following has become the first Asian to be awarded the Perry Engineer Tribute Award at the 77th Cannes Film Festival? Question number 24. Answer is again, third, Santosh Sivan. Question number 24th, question number 25th. So this, I think uh, most of you are aware of. Uh, so which of the following IPL teams? Yes, answer I don't know this answer, I Most of you are aware of. So uh, you know the answer of this. So Kolkata Knight Riders is the answer. So question number 25th. Okay, moving, question number 26. This I think is, I have to discuss few things. So with which medal will the Indian peacekeeper Naik Dhananjay Kumar Singh be honored posthumously by the UN Security General Antonio Guterres in recognition for his service? So question number 26, guys try to answer.
All right, so the answer to question number 26 is third. Right. So now here he this is this uh, uh, peacekeeper was service serving in Congo, and uh, again uh, we have to talk about the UN Secretary General as well, Antonio Guterres. So Antonio Guterres. Antonio Guterres was the prime minister of which country? Antonio Guterres, who got his second term as well. So he took oath on in 2017. Consi country ke prime minister the Antonio Guterres. Okay, so Antonio Guterres was the prime minister of Portugal. He was a Portuguese prime minister. Right? Or when we talk about the UN, ki karte hai, so there is a demand by India for the permanent membership of UNSC, which is United Nations Security Council. So the permanent membership of UNSC. So five permanent members. Con con se five permanent members hai. To aapko yaad rakhna hai. U US, UK, France, Russia, and China. So five permanent members of United Nations Security Council. The pen has stopped working, so now I am not able to write. I'm sorry. So five permanent members of United Nations Security Council. Those who have the veto power. Veto means power to say no. Right? Question number 27. Which premier institution has entered into a strategic partnership with TCS to develop India's first quantum diamond microchip imager? So try to guess. So question number 27, the answer is fourth, oh, it's working, IIT Bombay. Right, here I will question me aap se TCS is the largest software exporter company of Asia and one of the blue chip companies, of course, uh, who knows? The name of the CEO of TCS, Chief Executive Officer of Tata Consultancy Services.
very important can be asked persons in news okay so the name of the ceo of tata consultancy services is k kirthi vasan k kirthi i'm sorry kirthi vasan right so question number 27 is over moving towards question number 28 which of the following initiatives are launched by rbi governor shakti kanta das shakti kanta das is the 25th governor of rbi guys remember this 25th governor of rbi So the options are Prava, Retail Direct Mobile App, or the FinTech Repository. A banking awareness question, a current affair related to banking awareness. We should know. So the question number 28, the answer is one, two, and three. All three are correct. Prava, where is, uh, if, if, if some company wants to apply for banking license, it can go to Prava and do it. Retail direct mobile app, a retail investor can invest in government securities. FinTech repository. So just like in Amsi Pata Chalta hai, finance and technology. So fintech repository kya karti hogi hai. So uh, it 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 contains the uh, uh, database of the Indian fintech center, uh, sector. So uska pura fintech sector ka database hota hai isme. So all three are correct. So question number twenty eight. Now let's move towards question number 29. So question number 29 says, uh, name India's private space startup that successfully carried out a suborbital test flight of its home-built 3D printed semi Cryogenic rocket Agniban from its own launch pad at Sri Harikota. So, think an answer. So question number 29th, the answer is two, Agnikul Cosmos. Moving the slide, question number 30th, which of the following nations has launched its new space agency named CASA and plans to land on Mars. Achha, ye wo kaasa nahi hai. Kaasa ek banking wala hota hai, which is current account and saving account. But then, thoda sa common sense lagayenge, to answer a jayega. Agar kaasa ko expand karne ki koshish karenge to.
so casa ka full form is uh, the korea aerospace administration so the korea aerospace administration and the answer is south korea north korea i don't want to discuss much of because all of you are aware of so i'm not going to discuss much i'm moving the slide question number 31st which of the following regulator bodies or institutions has reported a 17 percent increase in its fy24 income to this much amount question number 31st So, 31st, anyone would like to answer this, guys? Okay, so the answer of this question is Reserve Bank of India, RBI, or is kebot sare reasons. Hai. Pehla, the rise in the price of gold. And you know that RBI holds, RBI has something known as Forex. So country ka Forex jyot hai, wo RBI ke paas mera hai. So the Forex is kept under various heads. The first is foreign currency assets. Second is, of course, gold. Third is SDR. The full form of SDR is the special drawing rights. Special drawing rights is nothing but the virtual currency of IMF, which is kind of a basket which has five currencies in it, including the US dollar, the pound sterling, the euro, the Japanese yen, and the Chinese yuan. So ye panch currency mila ke, it becomes one SDR. So foreign currency assets, gold, the special drawing rights, and there is one more thing which is known as reverse, French portion RTP. Now, what is RTP and how it works, how SDR works? You can always search because, again, if I started explaining this, it's going to be a long story. But then, in sub cheese, okay, jab price burdenge, to RBI ka surplus burdega. More of the story is this. So, the answer is Reserve Bank of India. Moving towards question number 32nd. For the sixth consecutive year, which Indian origin artist has topped the 2024 Harun India art list of the most successful Indian artist alive? So try to answer this. Hmm. So question number 32nd, the answer is for Anish Kapoor. So he's a London-based Indian origin artist. 
So his works were uh, auctioned publicly and it fetched a handsome amount. And therefore, he has been given this title. Question number 33rd. In one of the biggest movements of gold undertaken by India since 1991, India has moved 100 metric tons of its gold. news If you read the newspaper thoroughly, it was in news like anything a few days ago. Any answers of this? From which country we fetched our gold? Okay, Surakshita is saying UK, perfect. Okay. Okay, so Yog. Okay. All right, so yes, you people are correct. The answer is the UK. Now, as you people are aware, uh, during the 1990-91, we were into the crisis of BOP and the full form of BOP, those who are unaware, non non-commerce background or engineers, the full form of BOP is balance of payments, which is a systematic record of economic transactions between the residents and the non-residents of the country. That means how much foreign money you are sending to other countries, how much foreign money you are earning from other countries. So balance of payments, I'm sorry, crisis is you are sending more foreign money out and you are earning less foreign money. This happened in India in 1991. And then it's a long story. India was a closed economy, no import, no export. So we came up with the policies to fight with the balance of payments crisis, which was kickstarted by the then Prime Minister PV Narsimha Rao and the policies were known as LPG policies and it's not liquefied petroleum gas. It's liberalization, privatization and the globalization. So ye jab policy humne chalai thi, lekin us time pe because we were into a dire need of the foreign currency for our payments to different countries, we pledged uh, our lot of gold so um, to the bank of england to the bank of england ke paas bahut sara gold jo hai apna girvi rakha tha and we got 405 million dollars from bank of england halaki dheere dheere karke hum logon ne paisa to wapas kar diya but the gold was lying with bank of england so it was just a a gold transfer exercise from uh, Bank of England to India, right? So it has no implication on India's GDP or the gold reserves because we used to count that gold in, in, in India's gold reserve. It was just lying somewhere else. And still we have a lot of gold lying with the, the different countries. Uh, we have uh, a gold lying with the Bank of England and with BIS, which is Bank of International Settlement. If someone can tell me where are the headquarters, iske paas bhi hamara kafi sara gold rakha hua hai. If someone can tell me where are the headquarters of BIS, Bank of International Settlement.
बेल्जियम में तो नहीं है सर मैम सॉरी बिस वेर आर दर्स ऑफ बिस कमॉन गाइज ट्राई बैंक ऑफ इंटरनेशनल सेटलमेंट actually i am getting the messages a bit late i think because of the network or i don't know but i am getting it a bit late so i'm sorry by the time i read all the messages i have to go towards the next slide so i may not be able to respond to all the messages i'm so sorry for that but i'm trying to answer as many questions as i can so that's in basel the the bank of international settlement or bis is located in basel basel switzerland and here if you know there is a basel committee also right which we are going to discuss further in the discussions so i am moving the slide guys so the answer is uk and uh, let's move towards question number 34 so from which country has india received the highest foreign direct investment of uh, usd 11.77 so question number 34 try to answer this okay i hope people are trying to answer this okay so the answer of this question is not us the answer is singapore many reasons and the 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 surprising part is if you ask me sir uh, singapore is replaced by which country so mauritius was the country which used to provide most fdi to india so the large number of fdi used to come from mauritius now just try to think that fdi okay uh, first thing first uh, fdi versus fii So FDI is foreign direct investment and FII is foreign institutional investors. So, इसको याद रखना बहुत सिंपल है. So, if a foreign investor is investing less than ten percent equity, less than ten percent equity in Indian market, we call it FII or foreign institutional investor or FII. if it's more than 10% then we call it foreign direct investment ab isi se before i explain the mauritius thing i want to know how much fdi is allowed in banking sector in india since all of us are targeting banking tell me how much fdi is allowed in banking sector in india answer of this is second singapore don't get confused this i was explaining if someone can tell me
how much FDI is allowed in banking sector in India? So, private sector banking, 74% FDI allowed and public sector, government banks, 20% FDI is allowed. Remember guys, I repeat, private sector banking, 20% FDI is allowed and sorry for private sector banking 74 percent and public sector 20 percent fdi is allowed okay anyways so with mauritius and singapore indian government has dtaa and the full form is double taxation avoidance agreement and because of these double taxation avoidance agreements the investors first used to go to Mauritius and then used to invest in India. So recently, Halaki government has taken so many uh, steps to come out of this double taxation avoidance agreement. Uh, but because of that, Singapore say we used to get a lot of FDI earlier. So I would say, uh, Try to read about PPT, principal purpose, principal purpose tax. The government has taken this step to control the shell companies to invest in India. PPT, read about that. Anyways, the answer is Singapore. I'm moving the slide. World Environment Day is celebrated on June 5th every year to raise awareness and take action on urgent environmental issue. What is the theme of this year for the World Environment Day? So this World Environment Day was established in the year of 1972. 1972. Right, and question number 35, the answer is third. Land restoration, desertification, and drought resilience. Right, guys. I'm moving the slide to question number 36. The RBI has constituted a committee under DASH to set up a digital public infrastructure for the digital payments intelligence platform. 36. So the answer is AP HOTA committee. AP HOTA. D. Subara was the RBI governor, C. Rangarajan, Y. V. Reddy, all these three were the RBI governors earlier. AP Huta is a, is a former CEO of N. P C I E Rupi N P C I can someone tell me the full form of N P C I N P C I full form
So the NPCI full form is National Payments Corporation of India Limited. National, I'm sorry, National Payments Corporation of India. NPCI is a Section 8 company. When I say Section 8 company, I mean the not-for-profit company. Not-for-profit. Right? Okay, I'm moving the slide to question number 37. Question number 37 says, which bank will become the third largest in India to cross 8 lakh crore market capitalization mark on June 3rd, 2024? Question number 37th. And the answer is, again, what else is there? So market capitalization. What simple si baat hai. Market capitalization ka matlab kya hota hai? Total shares with the public. Promoters ke shares ko count nahi karte hai. Into price per share. So that is the market capitalization, or you call it FFMC, free float market capitalization. So SBI uh, share is uh, somewhere around 900 rupees, if I'm not wrong. Right, guys? So that's about SBI. So it, it joins the rank of Reliance, TCS, and so forth. Okay. Question number 38. Who became only the third woman in the Open era to win three straight French Open tennis title? 38. So the answer is third. And she's from Poland. Okay, question number 39. With which space agency has India's ISRO partnered for the upcoming thermal infrared imaging satellite for high resolution natural resource assessment? Trishna Mission 39. So 39th is third, and ISRO chairman is Mr. S. Somanath. ISRO chairman is Mr. S. Somanath. Question number 40th. Who among the following persons was named the EY World Entrepreneur of the Year 2024? So the answer is third. This award was earlier also given to the founder of Infosys. Who is the founder of Infosys? So Narayana Murthy also received this award earlier. This award was also received by Uday Kotak of Kotak Bank and Kiran Mazumdar Shah of Biocon. Question number 41. What is the rank of India in the recently released World Economic Forum's Global Gender Gap Index 2024? Question number 41. So 
आंसर इज थर्ड कंट्री विच टॉप्ड वॉज आइसलैंड रिमेंबर आइसलैंड टॉप्ड right guys question number 42 as per the united nations which year has been designated as the international year of quantum science and technology so question number 42nd the answer is third in the un this resolution was presented by mexico to designate this year as the year of quantum science and technology question number 43 how many indian startup companies have made it to the world economic forums technology pioneers 24 list question number 43 the answer is second 10 question number 44 which bank has launched the bank clinic initiative to offer guidance and assistance to bank customers for grievance redressal question number 44 the answer is fourth so if you have any grievance with the bank you can always contact this bank employees association it won't give you the solution it would give you the ways by which you can get the solution so question number 44 so the headquarter of this organization is in chennai next question 45 india has been ranked dash among 180 countries in the environment performance index 2024 so the answer is india's rank is 176 question number 46 which ministry has signed an mou with sbi's payment gateway sbi epay to enhance digital payment service for users of the e migrate portal 46 to jab migration ki baat ho rahi hai to answer kya hona chahiye kaun si ministry migration dekhegi so answer should be fourth ministry of external affairs headed by mr s jay shankar right question number 47 prime minister narendra modi has recently inaugurated the new campus of nalanda university an international university in rajgir 47 the answer is to bihar right so the gupta emperor kumar gupta english to say
he started this Nalanda University. Question number 48. Dhana Lakshmi Bank, who was appointed as managing director. So the answer is third, Ajit Kumar KK. Dhana Lakshmi Bank is a Kerala based bank, guys. Question number 49, which central regulatory body has been awarded the risk manager of the year? So the answer is again third, the RBI. Again, RBI came into existence by the recommendation of the Hilton Young Commission. Hilton Young Commission. Remember this. After the recommendation of Hilton Young Commission, RBI came into existence. Question number 50th, 10th International Yoga Day. The theme, the answer is second, yoga for self and society. So in 2014, it was declared that Yoga Day was celebrated, will be celebrated, I'm sorry. Question number 51, Indian wealth in the Swiss bank has gone down by 70% to hit a four year low. Question number 51, the answer is, Third, so this bank was established in 1907, remember guys, 1907, Swiss bank was established. According to a report released by the United Nations Conference of Trade and Development, India has been ranked dash in the world investment ranking in 2023. So question number 52, the answer is third. UNCTAD, the headquarters are in Geneva, Switzerland. Remember, WTO, World Trade Organization, and this organization, UNCTAD, both are located in Geneva, Switzerland. Question number 53, which RRB has been honored with a national award by the Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority for significant enrollment under the Atal Pension Yojana? So, the answer of question number 53 is fourth. So PFRDA, the headquarters are in New Delhi. It also regulates the NPS, which is, what is the full form of NPS, anyone? So it's National Pension Scheme. There was this dispute on old pension scheme and the NPS. If you are not aware, just have a look. Recently, government has also come up with the unified pension scheme, which is UPS. So read about these if you are not sure. It's important for the exam purpose. 
Question number 54, according to a recent study by NASCOM, India is home to over 3,600 startups in the deep tech space and ranked globally. Question number 54, the answer is third. So India has been ranked sixth. Question number 55, which of the following was officially declared as India's first UNESCO city of literature? Question number 55, and the answer is fourth, Kohikode, Kerala. Question number 56, after Jaipur, Malapuram, and Mysuru, which among the following has become the fourth Indian city to be recognized as a world craft city by the World Craft Council? Question number 56. So this World Craft Council was established in 1964. I'm sorry, 1964. And the answer of question number 56 is second, Srinagar. Question number 57, India's external debt at the end of March 2024 reached dash an increase of $39.7 billion from its level at the end of March 23. And the answer is two. See, country can borrow externally and country can borrow internally. If it borrows internally, it borrows from its people, like Indian government. If borrowing from Indians, it can issue Kisan Vikas Patra. Country can borrow from the central bank internally. So if country can borrow from central bank, it would borrow from RBI. Externally, country can borrow from foreign investors, World Bank, or International Monetary Fund. Remember, guys, Indian government ka internal debt is more than its external debt. I repeat, Indian those who are writing, Indian government ka internal debt is more than its external debt. How much? You have to find out. Moving the slide, question number 58. Which bank has introduced smart lock of, on its iMobile Pay app? So if it says iMobile Pay, so the common sense says the answer is ICICI Bank. I still remember there was this full form of ICICI asked. So the full form, I repeat, okay, I'll tell you the full form is industrial credit and investment corporation of India. Industrial credit and investment corporation of India. There was this allegation on the ex chairperson of ICICI Bank, Ms. Chandra Kochar. What was the allegation? Try to find out. And right now, uh, the MD and CEO of ICICI Bank is Mr. Sandeep Bakshi. Sandeep Bakshi. Question number 59, which Indian author has been awarded the 2024 Pen Pinter Prize? Question number 59. So the answer is third, Arundhati Roy. Arundhati Roy is in a lot of controversy. Recently, some comments on Kashmir, she was in controversy. Read about her can be a question. 
Question number 16, which of the following public sector undertaking becomes the country's 18th to be granted Navratna status by the Department of Public Enterprises? Question number 60. The answer is third. Mazagon Dock Shipbuilding Shipbuilders Limited. I'm sorry. Question number 60. So there are three categories given to the PSUs, Maharatna, Navratna, and Miniratna. I would request you to research about all these three categories and the eligibility. Moving the slide to question number 61. The Reserve Bank of India has increased the ways and means advances limits to state government and union territories to dash from 47,010 crores effectively July 1st, 2024. Question number 61, the answer is third. Guys, ways and means advances is when the government borrows from the RBI for the short term, three months. So, if the government short term ke liye RBI se paisa borrow karti hai, you call it ways and means advances. And while it borrows for the complete one financial year, which starts from 1st April till 31st March, we call it deficit financing for the fiscal deficit. So fiscal deficit is a mismatch for a complete one year. On the other hand, deficit financing is a mismatch for, let's say, few months, maybe two months, three months, right? I'm not able to read any question. I'll just finish up the, the, all the questions I'm taking. After that, I'll read your questions and I'll answer. So let's move further. Question number 62. The RBI has decided to put in place a revised framework on currency swap arrangement for SARC countries for the period 24 to 20, 2027. Question number 62. The answer is SARC. Where is the full form of SARC is South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. SARC. The headquarters are in Kathmandu. Member countries, eight. On the other hand, ASEAN is in Jakarta and 10 countries member. Question number 63, who among the following persons will succeed Dinesh Khara as the next chairman of SBI? Ye pata hona hai. So the answer is fourth. CS Seti. Question number 63, the answer is fourth. Question number 64. So the remittance means NRI sending money to India would be remittance for India. So according to World Bank, subsidies are the remittance was earned by India. Earlier it was China, but from last three years, India is number one, according to World Bank report. Question number 65, which international lending institution approved a second round of $1.5 billion to support India's low carbon energy sector? So the answer of question number 65 would be the World Bank, headed by Ajay Banga. Ajay Sorry. Banga is the president.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन द आर बी प्रोजेक्ट नेक्सिस अ मल्टी लेटरल इंटरनेशनल इनिशिएटिव टू इनेबल इंस्टेंट क्रॉस बॉर्डर रिटेल पेमेंट्स बाय इंटरलिंकिंग डोमेस्टिक फास्ट पेमेंट सिस्टम प्रोजेक्ट नेक्सिस इज कंसेप्शलाइज बाय द इनोवेशन हब ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन the answer is bis which is famous for the basel committee what it does it decides the car capital adequacy ratio for the banks which in india currently is 9% capital adequacy ratio kon decide karta hai तो बेजल कमेटी डिसाइड करती है ये कहां है सो दैट्स इन बैंक फॉर इंटरनेशनल सेटलमेंट बेजल स्विट्जरलैंड क्वेश्चन नंबर 68 द 16th एडिशन ऑफ द इंडिया मंगोलिया ज्वाइंट मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज नेम्ड डैश बिगिन एट द फॉरेन ट्रेनिंग नोड इन उमरोई मेघालय व्हिच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 68 The answer is third nomadic elephant. Question number sixty-nine. The forty-sixth session of the UNESCO's World Heritage Committee was held in Desh from July twenty-first, thirty-one, twenty-first to thirty-first, two thousand twenty-four. Question number sixty-nine. so there are total 1100 world heritage sites 1100 world heritage sites in the world and question number 69 the answer is new delhi question number 70 which country has issued its first new banknotes yen ab yahi se aapko answer samajh mein aa jana chahiye jab yen likha hai so you should know yen is the currency of which country so 3d hologram technology se kaun si country ne change kiya apna currency so the answer is japan because japan's currency is yen South Korea's currency is won, and China, Vietnam, North Korea. You find out the name of the currencies. Right. Moving the slide to question number seventy-one. Which among the following banks will set up more than hundred branches in the northeast region? Question number seventy-one. The answer is two. India Post Payment Bank. This is a payment bank. It is trying to become a small finance bank. but it is not able to fulfill some conditions of rbi like 5 years minimum experience hona chahiye as a post payment banks and few more but it would soon get the status of small finance bank because payment banks cannot loan it can only accept the deposit after becoming the small finance bank it can also give the loan right guys north east se mujhe yaad aaya there is a place in north east which is in news almost every day the name is manipur so there are two tribes which are fighting namely kukis and maitis and the name of the cm of manipur is n biren singh can be a question remember moving the slide to question number 72 which private bank has announced the appointment of krishnan venkat subramanian as its new md and ceo so question number 72 the answer is third federal bank which among the following are budget priorities in pursuit of vikasit bharat ab is saal the budget was presented twice once was 
of course, the interim budget, which was presented in the month of Feb, another was presented in the month of July. So while you read the budget, you should at least read the schemes announced by the government, the theme of the budget, and you should also read the deficit data. So what was the fiscal deficit? What was the revenue deficit and so forth? Anyways, question number 73, the answer is all five are correct. Question number 74, as per the union budget, the center has enhanced the limit for mudra loans under the Tarun category. So, uh, Tarun category was uh, earlier up to 10 lakhs, but in this budget, now it's 20 lakhs. So, Mudra is very important, even the full form. So it's micro units, mm. development and refinancing agency that you should know. Question number 75, the focus of the union budget is on which of the following areas? So it's a kind of a common sense question. So of course, all of the areas were touched. So the answer is five, employment skilling, MSMEs, and middle class. Question number 76, who among the following has taken over the chairman and MD of Sidby? So question number 76, the answer is third, SIDBI operates Small Enterprises Development Fund, SEDF. It's a fund by which it helps the MSMEs. And the answer is Manoj Mittal. Who won India's first medal at the 2024 Paris Olympics, securing bronze in the women's 10 meter pistol event with a score of 221.7? And the answer is Avni Lekhara. She's the shooter. So, 77, 78, which Indian destination has been listed on the Times magazine's list of world's greatest places of 2024? The answer is all three, five. Seventy nine, according to World Trade Organization report, India ranked dash in anti dumping duties, lowering average tariffs in twenty twenty three. Question number seventy nine. The answer is four fourth. WTO is located in Geneva, Switzerland, and tariffs are the taxes which are imposed on import and export. WTO has a director general. And I will not tell you the name. She's from Africa. Try to find out her name. For the, the first lady to head WTO. Question number 80th. With which institute did the Ministry of Defense sign an MOU to? Facilitate capital market access to the defense MSMEs. Question number 80. The answer is NABAD, established in 1982 with the recommendation of Sivraman Committee. Sivraman.
क्वेश्चन नंबर 81 द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडियाज डिजिटल पेमेंट्स इंडेक्स हैज इंक्रीज टू डैश क्वेश्चन नंबर 81 आंसर इज फाइव फोर फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव जीरो क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी टू इन कोलाबोरेशन विथ विच बैंक डिड द एन आई आई टी Institute of Finance, Banking and Insurance announced the launch of the Ace Banker program. Question number eighty-two, and the answer is HDFC Bank. Question number eighty-three. Name India's first multinational air exercise, which was hosted in two phases in Sular, Tamil Nadu. Eighty-three. The answer is two. Tarang Shakti, twenty twenty-four. so there were around 10 countries participated in tarang shakti question number 84 identify the correct statements regarding the recently concluded unesco's 46th world heritage committee session question number 84 so the answer is 5 all of them are correct question number 85 former union health secretary preeti sudan was appointed chairperson of dash with effect from august 1st 2024 question number 85 the answer is upsc now this was again in news because of two things one was the lateral entry the other was a uh, a lady named pooja khedekar why if you are unaware please find out which indian university has been granted the distinguished special consultative status by the united nations economic and social council question number 86 the headquarters of this organization are in new york usa and the answer of question number 86 is second kit odisha question number 87 who among the following persons authored the book titled india at 100 question number 87 the answer is third kv subramanian question number 88 with which bank did the government of india sign a usd 200 million loan recently to improve solid waste management and 
sanitation in 100 cities across eight states in the country? Question number 88. The answer is first, Asian Development Bank, ADB. It was established in 1966. Remember, guys, ADB was established in 1966. The headquarters are in Manila, Philippines. Who is the chief? I want you to find out. Moving the slide to question number 89. What is India's rank in travel and tourism development index report published by the World Economic Forum? Question number 89. And the answer is 39th. Question number 90th, 90th. Which global financial services company appointed Georges as its group chief executive with effect from September 2nd, 2024. Question number 90th. And the answer of question number 90th is third HSBC, which is Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank Corporation, not headquartered in Hong Kong, neither in China. It is headquartered in UK, okay? 91, the Reserve Bank of India has set up a committee led by Indian Banks Association to review the fee structure of white label ATM. See, there are two types of ATMs, white label and brown label. Listen to this carefully. Anyways, question number 91. First of all, let me tell you the answer. The answer is Sunil Mehta committee. Now, let me tell you the difference between white label and brown label ATM. The white label ATM, it's a privately owned ATM, which is managed by a private company. Brown label ATM is an outsourced ATM, right? which is owned by the bank, but managed by a private company. A white label ATM is owned and managed both by a private company. Example of a white label ATM can be Tata Indicash. This was the first white label ATM. It's fully owned by Tata. Question number 92, which Indian tennis stars were formally inducted into the International Tennis Hall of the Fame as its 265th and 267th members. Question number 92, the answer is second. Leander Pace. Leander Pace uh, won around 18 Grand Slam titles, 18 Grand Slam titles. All right, question number 93. Which space mission of ISRO won the prestigious World Space Award from the International Astronautical Federation? Question number 93. So the answer of question number 93 is second. Chandrayaan 3. Question number 94. Identify the correct statement regarding the economic survey. Presented by the finance minister, Nirmala Sita Raman. Question number 94. The answer is. All are correct. Guys, economic survey is made by the chief economic advisor of the country. Remember this. And the name of the chief economic advisor is V. Anant Nageshwaran. V. Anant. Nageshwaran. Question number 95. In the union budget, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has allocated more than 11 lakh crores towards capital expenditure. Capital expenditure, guys, remember, is a long-term and productive expenditure. 
So there are two types of expenditures given in budget revenue and capital. Revenue expenditure is short term and non productive. For an example, interest payment by the government. Capital expenditure is productive. For an example, if a loan is given to some state or country. So question number 95, the answer is for 3.5, sorry, 3.4 percent of GDP. Finance minister has announced a cut in customs duty. Custom duties are imposed on import, right? So question number 96 is second. Because of which gold also got uh, a bit easy to buy for a few days. Who became the first Indian actor to have gold coins dedicated to him at Paris uh, Grevin Museum? So the answer is Shah Rukh Khan. So it's again a kind of a wax museum in Paris. As per the 2024 Henley Passport Index, India's passport rank dash alongside Senegal and Tajikistan, offering visa free access to 58 countries. Question number 98. The answer is. Third 82nd. Question number 99, who among the following won the men's singles Wimbledon title 2024 for the second time in his career? Question number 99. And the answer is. Third, Alcazar. Question number 100, who among the following leaders? achieved a significant milestone by surpassing 100 million followers on his social media account X. And uh, I know most of you are aware of the answer, so I won't speak much. The answer is the Prime Minister of India. 101, as per the Niti Aayog Sustainable Development Index for 23-24, identify the correct statement given below. And the answer is five. The full form of Niti is National Institution for Transforming India. And Niti has a chairman as prime minister and has a vice chairman. The vice chairman, the present vice chairman of Niti is Suman Berry. Suman Berry. 102, name the portal recently launched by the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship that will provide complete information on skill development scheme. And the answer of question number 102 is SID. And as most of the, uh, the scheme, the portals has the full form. So SID also has the full form. The full form is Skill India Digital Hub. Skill India Digital Hub. Question number 103, which Indian space scientist was awarded the Vikram Sarabhai Medal by the 45th Committee on Space Research Conference in Busan recently? Question number 103. So the answer of question number 103 is first. Anil Bharadwaj. It was also given to. No, it's okay. Anil Bharadwaj. That's fine. 103. 104. BBVA Columbia, along with Dash, has issued US dollar 15 million per trench to the world's first biodiversity bond in financial sector. And the answer is. Question number 104. The answer is Fourth International Financial Corporation or International Finance Corporation, a body of World Bank, which we have already discussed. Who among the following persons 
has been re-elected as the president of the European Parliament until 2027. So the answer is Roberta, Roberta Metzola, and she is from Malta. Roberta Metzola is from Malta. Okay. Question number 106, which bank has introduced a new term deposit scheme called Amrit Rishti? So question number 106, the answer is fourth SBI. 107, the Asian Development Bank in its Asia Development Outlook July reported forecasted India's GDP growth rate 107, Asian Development Bank headquartered in Manila, Philippines, and the answer is third 7.0. The crowd strike, this ki wajah se abhi Microsoft ke sare computers down ho gaye the aur usme aagi thi blue screen of death. So BSOD stands for the blue screen of death. Hundred nine, which country joined the CSO? Shanghai Cooperation Organization recently, thereby becoming its 10th member, 109. And the answer is second, Belarus. So the answer is Belarus. SEO was earlier known as Shanghai 5. Remember this. Hundred and ten, who among the following has officially taken over as the fiftieth eighth Prime Minister of Britain? So the answer is third. Hundred and ten. The answer is third. He is the leader of Labour Party. Remember, Labour Party. Hundred and eleven. Which public sector bank has announced 11 new initiatives, including enhancement of its digital banking features and opening of 35 new agricultural centralized processing cells on its 69th Foundation Day on July 1st, 2024? Question number 111. And the answer is again SBI. Hundred and twelve. In which of the following private banks is the Life Insurance Corporation of India raises its stake to two point six eight percent via private placement? Hundred and twelve. And the answer of question number hundred and twelve is second IDFC First Bank. It was a Mumbai-based NBFC, and then it became a bank. 113, the name of which Indian home finance company was changed to Saman Capital Limited recently? And the answer is India Bulls Housing Finance. 114. Which among the following banks appointed Ratan Kumar Kesh as its interim MD and CEO for the period of three months with effect from July 10th, 2024, 114th? And the answer is fourth, Bandhan Bank, West Bengal based microfinance company became a bank. 
115, which country honored Indian PM Narendra Modi with its highest civilian award? And you know, this question, uh, this event actually was uh, in news a lot. The answer is Russia. 116, which Indian bank signed a 2.5 million credit line with Guyana for a solar plant as Chedi Jagan International Airport, 116. The answer is second. The full form is Export Import Bank of India. 116, the answer is second. The full form is Export Import Bank of India. And the chairperson is Harsha Bangri. Harsha Bangri. One hundred seventeen. Which Indian was honored with France's highest civilian award? And one hundred seventeenth. The answer is fourth. Roshni Nadar. One hundred eighteenth. Which among the following companies launched India's first tourism thematic index fund? 118, the answer is third, Tata Mutual Fund. Mutual funds are regulated by SEBI, Securities and Action Board of India. 119, the Reserve Bank of India approved the reappointment of Govind Singh as the MD and CEO of 119, the answer is third, Utkash Small Finance Bank. And the last question, 120. In response to the increasing number of cyber frauds, which bank introduces the safety ring mechanism to enhance security for its internet and mobile banking users? 120. And the answer is Punjab National Bank. So here I'm done with 120 questions, guys. Now, uh, those who want to leave can leave. Thank you very much. If someone has a question, now I'll read the question and try to answer for next five minutes. And uh, thank you very much for those who attended. And now I'll entertain the questions. Thank you very much for your time. I'll try to find out the questions. Yeah, it was South Korea. Sebi chief is Madhvi Puri Butch. Thank you very much, Ritika.
All right. So thank you very much for your participation, guys. I'm somehow not able to read the questions. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much.